That's not the way I want you to go, girls. Today, nothing is going according to plan. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Last night, I saw something I didn't want to see. The cows got out of their paddock that they were in. And uh, it was pitch black, didn't feel like going out there with a the flashlight and going to put them back in. So we're going to see what happened and see where they're at this morning. Hopefully they're all in the same general area. Got some alfalfa pellets and we'll see if we can lean them back in. But uh. Well, I'm glad I didn't walk that way. I don't know if you can see that. It's a gigantic spider web. I usually walk that way. Today I'm walking this way and there they are. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, that's not where you're supposed to be. Let's turn this off and let's find out what happened. This will be interesting. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Come on, cows. There we go. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Can I get the new ones, Dolly and Sheep, to follow? This will be interesting. They haven't got out like this before. Come on, cows. Come on. They just see the wire. If I can push them towards the lane a little bit, they'll be able to go right on through. But let's see if that works. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Let's see. I'm behind them a little bit. They'll let them backtrack. They want to go towards their friends. I want them to go towards their friends. Easy girl. That's not... That's not the way I want you to go, girls. Come on, girls. Come on. Oh, great. What I am going to do is I'm just going to set up a wire there because, look. You just can't... This, this here... It's full of goat weed. I mowed all this because it was all like that, just a solid thing of goat weed on this dam here because it is just rock solid. You try and push that stake in, it'll snap. But that's what we're trying to change, make it a little bit softer, not just all pure clay. That way we'll come in here and uh, get this with the weed whacker. That way we can have a nice beautiful pond to fish out of which I want to do very soon okay <sighs> they're just being difficult today 
nothing is going according to plan. But when you plan for nothing to go according to plan, everything goes according to plan, and so you can't be angry because everything went according to plan. Just like this. So what I did is got the cows over. They're just being a little bit difficult. So what I did is I just gave them the, the next day's paddock too, just to give them a bigger area, just so they don't get out. That way they're not tempted to. But I was also gonna try and run a strand around the pond because we don't want them getting in there because we don't want them pooping in there. We don't want them peeing in there. But as you can see, it's a little bit too late because this is the first thing they went for. Now, is it the worst thing in the world that they're in the pond? No, why? Because today is like the hottest day that it's been since we've been here. So, yeah, they can have a little bit of a bath. Is it gonna kill the pond to have seven cows in it for one, maybe two days? No, if there was 100 cows in here, oh yeah, I'd be getting them out 100%. But there's only seven, so they can have their fun. Hopefully, maybe they can clean up a little bit of uh, around here, or at least trample some of it for me. So when I come over here with the, the weed whacker, I don't have so much work to do. But yeah, ideally, you don't want them in the pond. One, maybe two days, they're fine. It's, they're not gonna do anything bad. They're not gonna cause a lot of damage. But yeah, nothing is going according to plan today. That means everything's going according to plan. See, these are animals, you know? You just can't get mad at them. They're so in the moment to where they just wanna eat, drink, and live. But because because they're not thinking about the next day or the next day or the next day like we all do they just care about right now and sometimes that's a good thing maybe we should learn a little bit from that you can't get mad at them oh there's a turtle right there did i catch it Let's see where's it at there's a turtle right there yeah there goes the turtle there was one right near the gate yesterday and the dogs were going nuts i got a little shovel and uh moved it probably about 250 feet away from the house but yeah, these are animals. They don't speak English. I don't speak cow. They're trying to do what I want them to do. They're trying to do it, but sometimes there's uh, stuff that gets lost in translation, and that's okay. Remember that. When you plan for nothing to go according to plan, everything goes according to plan so you don't get mad. Remember that. That's a good, I, that's what I always do. Now, do I have backup option, backup option, backup option? Yeah, of course I do. Like for example, this pond here don't really need it because we have the water system but what happens when the water system fails and it will at some point in the time that we're here backup option figure out how to pull a siphon from here make the cows come back here to drink whatever nothing goes according to plan don't get mad about it just enjoy the cows just enjoy don't be stressed why stress over stuff that you can't control can I control these could if I really wanted to can I move them out of here probably well, you know what? They can have a swim day. Why? It's hot. I want, we're gonna go do one of those real soon at the lake. But look at this. They're pretty. They're just being cows. Yoli's being a little bit of a bully down there to sheep. It's okay. When it's like 99 degrees out and the humidity's at like 60% and it feels like 110, eh, they deserve a day to where they can go take a swim too. So am I stressing about stuff? No. Cows are contained, they're safe, they're fine. They have obviously have enough water, they have obviously enough food. Yeah, let them do their thing for a day, it's fine. Now, if we did this every day, that pond will get torn up and we don't want that. That's why this is all in goat weed because of how it was used to be done last year before we got here. And uh, this, this ground is just rock solid. So I'm just gonna keep mowing. I might throw some hay on top of here, use one of the bales, and uh, try and build the soil around here a little bit better because that is just ridiculous. We've had that we had that in a couple places on the property. That is just ridiculous. That's just unacceptable. Why did it grow up like this? Because the cows aren't here to trample it every day. But you know, there's not much for them to eat down there. Look, it's just pure goat weed, and they just don't like this stuff. So we'll come in here, we'd whack it all down. Maybe do something about this in here because that way we have a place to fish. We have a little place to fish right over there. So with that, my everything doesn't go according to plan day happens. And uh, I think we're gonna sign off here. 
Hit the subscribe button down below to see what happens tomorrow because it's always an adventure. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and drop a comment if you like, alright? We'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.